What's going on, everybody? Hope y'all are doing well. So I wanted to give a little bit of an update here as to what exactly am I doing as far as trading uh, setups, what kind of strategy I'm doing, because I've had quite a few people ask me lately um, if I'm still doing the sniper system, if I'm still, if I'm doing simplicity, because uh, I've posted some little reels, some little little uh, uh, like Facebook reels, social media reels, all that stuff, and uh, and some screenshots. And if you're part of my Discord group, you probably know by now. But yeah, I'm actually doing. I'm trading ICT concepts now, um, and I never thought I'd be doing this. <laughs> I never thought I'd be here. And so I just kind of wanted to give an update on that. I still love the Apex system, the sniper system, simplicity, all that. It's still great. And I like, I mean, I love it a lot. As everybody knows, I did the um, Apex sniper system for a long time and it, it works. It's great. It, it's really good. Um, so people ask me, they're like, you know, well, then why did you switch? Why did you? And my personality, so, and here's another video I've hinted at doing before that I really want to do, and it's about trading personalities. Everybody has different trading personalities. Some people are okay sitting in a trade and holding, right? And sit there, they can swing trade for four hours, five hours. Some people just want to take little scalps that last 20, 30 seconds um, there's all, and that goes with your personality, right? So whenever I started trading, I was new to trading back in March of 2020. So here we are four years later, I was, was brand new to trading. I knew some things cause I've been in the world of finance. So I, I knew some very basic stuff. I knew nothing about futures, nothing. I dabbled into options a little bit, uh, just trading regular stocks a little bit, but I didn't know anything as far as charting, I guess you could say. I uh, really had no idea about it until I came across Apex, Apex Sniper System. And I basically learned everything through Apex Sniper System. And it was great. It was beautiful. I loved it. And my trading personality, because I was new to it. Oh, well, let me, let me back, back that up just a little bit. So I did dabble into Forex a little bit as well. Again, I didn't know what I was doing. I just knew I was either buying or selling. No strategy. Didn't know anything. Uh, found a guru, right? A, a guru. <laughs> uh, paid some money. Tried to learn. Didn't go well. And basically what I found is I was actually, well, looking back now, I was swing trading forex and i had no idea and i hated and i was trading like i didn't even know you know the size uh the pip size and like all that stuff i had no idea about that the uh the leverage and all that had no clue so basically what i found is i was using zero leverage and what i found was i would enter trade and at the time you know i had a job so i'd go to work and i kept checking my phone checking my phone and oh, I, it's gone up 50 cents or it's gone up a dollar, a couple bucks, $5, $10. And then it's coming down. And I'm like, it's just my anxiety was just going crazy. And that's not even a lot of money. <laughs> so I was like, if, if I'm doing that with $5, $20, $10, you know, sitting in these, these trades, it's driving me crazy. How am I going to do it with larger numbers? And if it's faster, right? So then I came into Apex. Uh, Apex Trader uh, uh, Sniper System. And the scalping, your entry-level scalps, right? You go for very minimal. Uh, really, it's like two points. Uh, two and a half points or so. So nine ticks uh, for NQ. So it's a scalp, very clear entries. I liked it. 
boom, you're in, you're out, you either won, you lost, whatever it is, great. And then I started, so as you advance in the sniper system, you learn new, uh, you learn how to read the market a little better, and then you can go for bigger targets, right? And that's when I kind of transitioned into, it took me a while to, to go from the snipers to another trade where I'm really targeting like five, 10 points. And that was killer to me. I had to learn how to sit there in that trade and, and do that. So basically I'm saying all this to let you know that was my trading personality. Um, I, I did not, I do not like to hold trades. So that's why I'm saying I'm very shocked that I'm even here trading ICT concepts because a lot of, I wouldn't say his trades, I mean, he has a lot of different, you know, there's a lot of different ways you could trade ICT, right? So what got me, it, it, I, I never really knew how it worked, whatever. And I've always heard the name. I heard a lot of people using it. I know some people have done well with it. I know some people haven't, just like any system. That's why I don't try to teach trading teach strategy i never really I, I always say your your strategy really doesn't matter to be honest i really think that i really think your strategy doesn't matter as much you have to have a strategy obviously an edge to me that's why i always talk about money management psychology and discipline to me that's what's going to make or break you as a trader plain and simple you can have the best strategy in the world that's like a 90% win rate. But if you lose and then you blow up on that loser, start taking invalid trades, crazy stuff, it doesn't matter, right? So that's my thinking. So what you really need to do is find you a strategy that you're comfortable with. Master it and stick to it, okay? And I know I'm saying stick to it when I am making a video about switching strategies, but the reason why I switched is because I actually feel very comfortable and can read the market, in my opinion, better than I ever have been before with ICT concepts. And that's not a knock on any strategy, right? Like there's ways to do everything. But my personality is I am a very technical type personality when it comes to why things are how do things work i really want to know the whys on things and with apex they do a really good way of teaching you how to use the system master the system read the market with it great and the only reason why so a video i came across one day said something it was an ict video he said something about this the only it was a clickbait type video it said the only i forgot exactly what it was but it's something like the only strategy or the only trade you'll ever need for the rest of your life some something like that i don't even know what it was i was like yeah whatever i was just sitting here and basically popped up the video and what got me i'll tell you right now what got me what got me was he said you don't believe what i'm telling you go to your charts and prove me wrong and I was kind of like, okay, well, first of all, he's not selling anything right now, right? So he's not trying to just gimmick me to pay him some money. So, okay, he's not doing that. And why do I have my chart here? Because ICT is a bear chart. So that's what got me. I was like, I never have to rely on anybody. If I can master what he's saying, I will develop a skill that nobody can take away from me. That got me, and then the fact that he was sitting there saying, prove me wrong. So me, what do I do? Okay, fine, let's try to prove this guy wrong. <laughs> let's prove him wrong. And he started showing little things like this. Let's go here. Oh, this is trading view, by the way. So I switched over to trading view because I love the charting system, um, and that's what ICT uses. He showed a little thing like this, what's called a fair value gap. I'm not saying this is any kind of trade or anything right now. I'm just showing you. I just so happened to look over and see this. He said, oh, yeah, we got a 
creates this gap between the two bars. It takes three bars, this gap, blah, blah, right here. And then that's actual support, not regular support resistance or whatever. I'm just giving you a quick little rundown of what, what really got my mind going. And he says, and then once it comes into here, it'll go up here because of this or this or that. And he's like, don't believe me, whatever system, whatever chart you're using, as long as you have it on regular candlesticks, uh, go look, prove me wrong. So what do I do? I went in here. I was like, oh, here's one of those things that he's talking about. Oh, wow. Look at that. It wicked in there. I mean, it's clearly holding as a support there. Wicked there. And then, wow, it went up. So what did I do? Like an idiot? <laughs> I started looking at these and saying, oh, well, these things are holding. These things are really holding the way they should, the way he's saying. Look at that. It's going right down to the middle of it. It's just really, really holding. I mean, take a trade off of it. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. He, he <laughs> and by the way, the, the ICT, uh, if you go to his YouTube, he has a so many videos, right? So many videos. You can get lost forever. I'm focused on mastering his 2022 mentorship model. That's what I'm focused on. And that's what I've been doing for the last six months. For the first couple months, the first few months that I was learning, I didn't just go, oh, cold turkey. Let me go to ICT. That'd be, that'd be dumb, right? So I, I was learning. And then I started seeing stuff. Then I kind of started combining stuff. And then I got comfortable. I got comfortable. Oh, so what I started doing too was before I found a little indicator. I don't even remember where it was that placed those things on the chart for me. So I started plotting them automatically. That way I don't have to worry about, you know, like, oh, am I missing something, blah, blah. So I started plotting them automatically. Some indicator I found. There's a million indicators out there for, for fair value gaps. That's what it's called. And I started letting it auto plot. And then as I figured out how to really see it and get and started re like really getting comfortable with the, the, the ebbs and flows of the market. And I literally would just watch, let the charts run without trying to trade for days and days and hours upon hours and just watching it. How does it react to everything? Right? How does it do this? How does it do that? And then I got comfortable. Then I started removing that, started removing other stuff. And then I went a hundred percent with ICT. Um, I did get a payout in December from just using ICT concepts from apex trader funding. And I was like, okay, nice. I had a nice little run and then came, uh, December was very, no, not December. Yeah. Towards the end of December, <laughs> like an idiot. Uh, the end of the year, the last two weeks, holidays, all that, I kind of still try to trade days. I probably shouldn't have all that good stuff. Uh, I'm very hard headed. <laughs> and then come January, January, uh, was a little yeah, up and down. I'm still learning. Right. And then I'm like, man, but see, that's before I really honed into the 2022 model. I was just kind of all over the place learning. ICT stuff like, oh, this is ICT. This is ICT. Didn't really have structure. Then I really started honing into the 2022 model. And I guess it does kind of help that I went through a bunch of his other videos and kind of like a weird order, no, no order at all. And just started learning stuff like all his, what's called PDA rays. It's order blocks, uh, fair value gaps, breakers, blocks, volume imbalances, all this kind of stuff. These ICT terms that he has kind of learned all that. And then I found myself on the 2022 model. Then I was like, ah, now this makes sense because I've seen this. I've noticed this. I just didn't know what it was. I noticed this. I just didn't know what it was. But that 2022 model really put it together for me. Then from February 12th, I said, I'm only taking trades with this model. And I had a great February. Great February. I had one. No, hold on. Let me pull it up. Let me see. I had one losing day uh, after February 12th. After February 12th. Um, in February. Yeah, one losing day. 
on the 14th. And I went small. So this is what I did. And I'm going to show you this. I don't like to... So I don't like to show... I never, if you know and you follow me, I never like to show money, profits, any of that stuff. Why? Because I don't think it's important. I think you got to focus on your trades, trading well, discipline, all of that, because all of that is a byproduct. The byproduct of it is making or losing money. Plain and simple. The money's going to be there. You can't say, oh, we're going to think of the money. I don't think that way because it's all of it is money. <laughs> so anyways uh let's see here february 12th through the end of the month let's see what that is all right again don't focus on the dollar the dollar amount but uh let's bring this down here okay let's bring this where you can see it uh so and i didn't have really a money management strategy or nothing with this i was just kind of like doing the trades as you can see here the fifth 16 mind you i have i have multiple accounts multiple accounts with apex so when you see all these 16 trades that's not me taking 16 trades that could be i don't even remember at the time how many accounts i had probably like eight so it's like two trades per account right this day though 48 trades that's like more than i should have that's probably like four trades uh and a larger amount right so I had kind of a little rough week, rough week in February. And I told my, over this weekend, that weekend, I reflected. And I'll never remember, never forget this day, February 12th, because I specifically told myself, I'm going to focus only on the 2022 mentorship. I'm only going to take that setup, no matter what. That's it, plain and simple. So what I did was, from the 12th, okay, I had a good day. This day was like, ugh, okay. Only seven trades. So what does that mean? I took one trade that day. And then the rest of the month, didn't have a losing day. Okay? It was good. But what I was doing is not, so what I like to do is take one setup, that look for that one setup, that one trade, win or lose, and I am done for the day. So I kind of knew this was all a matter of time before obviously when you go on a streak like this it doesn't last forever we know that it doesn't last forever you're going to get a loss a losing day but my problem was here and i'm sorry now i'm going on a little bit of a rant but i just want to update wh what what how this is going for me right because now I, you're going to see if you've tuned in before you're going to see me talking about ict concepts and I just want to show you, like, this is what I'm going to be doing. So this is kind of my transition to it. You're going to see my, my transition to it. And I'm just putting it out there, full transparency, because it, it, this looks pretty for February, but I'm about to show you March. I'm about to show you March. And you'll be like, dang. <laughs> uh, because this, I knew, like, I was focusing from the 12th on that one setup. And I knew here, because I was taking more than that one trade. So if I lost, so let me see. Hold on, hold on. Before I show you this, let me make sure. Let me check something. Hold on, let me set my dates right. Okay, I got my dates right. Again, do not focus on the money. That doesn't matter. But this is all my accounts combined. Actually, I can do it this way where I don't show you the dollar amount. Actually, it doesn't matter. You can already see the dollar amount there. Anyways, so... I knew because I wasn't taking one trade that if like a lot of these days I, I had a loss, my first trade, because what happened is I'd, I'd take a trade and I'd say, ooh, that wasn't the setup. I know it was. I know it wasn't valid, right? So instead of stopping for the day, I'll take another one, which I knew was the valid setup. And it was. And that's why my days, my winners were more than my losers. My, my winners, my winning days were more than my losers. That's, in my opinion... For me to be comfortable uh, trading, I, I have to have that money management. I need a one and a half to one ratio or better. That's just how I trade. That's just, that's what my personality requires. So because of that, I knew it was a matter of time. 
that I'd have a loss and the next trade would not be a win and it would be a loss. And then I'd have a big loss. And what can that do? If you're not careful, that can create spiraling and losing out control. That's exactly what happened to me in March. Bang. <laughs> Uh, and then I had to spend all March making up that one day. And I know some of you have gone through this. I know you have because, and I've done it way more times than I want to even admit. <laughs> so let me scroll up here. Trade win 59.43%. And that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I would take one that would lose, and then I would take the next one that would win most of the time. That's why I have almost a 50% win rate. But my profit factor was a 1.9. That's why I was profitable. And then the day's one, right, was, what is that? Uh, the day's one, was, uh, sorry, I got distracted there for a second. The days were 91%. Great. I won 91% of my days. After the 12th, I won, I only had one losing day. Let's introduce you to March. So we're going to go to March. I'm saying this because I, I'm, I'm perfecting I'm perfecting my strategy here, right? I'm perfecting this. I don't care. I'm not perfect. I'm, I'm learning. Still learning. I'm always learning. Okay, so March. Let me see. We had a losing month in March for me. Check this out. Let's start with this calendar that I just showed. Boom. Pretty, if you like Christmas. <laughs> so check this out. March comes, I'm feeling pretty confident. I just had a pretty good February, right? As far as my wins, losses. Oh, but what I did too after February, uh, let's backtrack. Hold on, let me, let me backtrack. Let's go back to the, actually I can just do this. Let's go back to February. Look at the, the difference in dollar amounts, right? What I did from here, Basically, the 20th on, and mind you, this is multiple accounts. So my days, what I did was I said, you know what? I'm going to drop down my contract uh, sizing. I was trading two micros, two micros. I said, I'm going to go down to two micros. I'm just going to preserve my account. And then some people will say, well, why don't you just trade SIM? I can't. I can't trade SIM. I just can't because I have zero emotion in SIM. At least if I'm trading a PA account, I will have some emotion tied to it. Even if it's one or two micros, I'll have some type of emotion. And I already know me. Well, if I'm in a trade that's up 20, 30 points, I start getting, ooh, let me tighten up. Stop. Let me. So I'm still working on that. How can I hold? If I have a clear target 50 points away, I need to hold until I get to that target 50 points away or take some partials or something. But so that's what I'm still working on, right? But. So that's why I go to my, uh, um, that's why I use my PAs and don't just do SIM. I need that emotional feel so I can learn to control it in these bigger trades. I've never in my life tried to go for 30, 40, 50 point trades. If I had a 20 point trade, oh my God, before that was just like, who trade of the month. Now 20 points is, that's my risk a lot of times. Uh, don't want to get into that. But anyways, so yeah, I reduced my risk. So let's go back to March here. Boom. Look what happened. 16 trades. I took two losses. What I said. I said, a time's going to come where that first one's going to be lost. I'm going to take it again. It's going to lose. Friday, luckily, in my rule on Friday, I'm usually a little more conservative on Fridays anyways because I don't want to go into the weekend with regret saying, oh my God, why did I do that? Da, 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 and have a bad weekend. I don't let it have, my, have a bad weekend anymore. Like it doesn't, I don't, I don't try, I try not to take that with me. But anyways, you get what I'm saying. 
Come Monday. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> Look how many trades. Dang. So after that, I said, that's it. I'm never gonna I'm I'm never going to break that rule ever again. Because that was I mean, you know if you've done this, it's deflating. You're like, man, I gotta it's gonna take me so long to pick that back up. Right? So then from there, I took one trade, one trade, one trade, one trade. That's why you see eight. This day, I got a little out of hand. I, I broke my rule there. Not good. I took three trades that day. This day, I remember I did have, I think it was, I'm pretty sure that was a break even. That's why it's 16. Actually, I know that that's what happened that day. I remember. And then eight trades, eight trades, eight trades, eight trades. I added two more PA accounts. So now it's 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Point is, it took me all month <clears throat> to almost recover that. Almost. Almost recover that. Almost. And if you look, uh, <clears throat> see, I lost money that month. 40% win rate because of those first three days. Those first three days. Look, I'm just going to show you. Anyways, I don't want to make this whole video about that. <laughs> I don't want But since then, so like, I, I'll just say this. Since then, the fifth uh, actually the sixth after those three days for the rest of the month was not bad. 55% win rate, 2.19 profit factor, 71% win days. Nice curve going up, right? Okay. So point is here we are now we're in April, April 1st. I had an up and down month, but now I locked in on my money management and I'm six months in to studying this this ICT stuff. And I now feel like I have never, ever, ever in my life been more comfortable trading, reading the market. Like there's some mornings before, like before the open, I'm calling. It almost feels, it, it, it feels like magic a lot of times. And it's, it's, and again, I mean, everybody reads the market differently. But the way I am interpreting this, it's just been on point so much. So I can't deny that. That's why I went here because it slowly brought me over. It slowly pulled me over. Um, because like I said, it all started with me saying, let me, let me see what he's talking about. He's saying, prove him wrong. Prove to him that it doesn't work. Couldn't do it. And then as I got deeper and deeper down that rabbit hole, now I just feel like, I mean, I just read the market so well. And it's been, and I gave myself two months of it, of like, let me, before I increase accounts, contracts, back up, all that stuff, let me prove it for a couple months. Like, I called this happening up here. It's going to take out the stops. It's going to go for liquidity grab. It's going to run down. So I'm going to make a, you know, a little trade review, but I just want to, I just wanted to come up here and explain, uh, what it is, what I'm doing, why I'm doing it and just get that update. And going forward, my videos, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see these type of charts. You're going to see explanations of it. And that's been uh, one of the, I mean, it's just been great for me. That's all. So anyways, still a future sniper beast because I'm still, still being a sniper out there waiting for that one shot, one kill, one trade, one and done, patient, waiting, waiting, bang, pull the trigger whenever I see it. So. All right, hope y'all have a great, great day, and that's it for now. I'll see y'all on the next video. Have a great day, and trade well, everybody. Yeah.